Hi everybody, I'm coming to you from my floor with my concussion. My head hurts like balls. But you know what, let's just push through it. Whew. I'm trying to do this in like a one shot because I'm not allowed to be in computers. I shouldn't, they hurt my head. But I think I should bring a lot of things out. One, I need to address the whole like all cosmetics things. And it's warm in here because my fan is broken and this is why I'm on the floor because I was fixing it. And I think I've had it for like 12 years. I don't know. Vicky bought it when we lived together. So that was like a long time ago. I don't even know how long. Anyway. <clears throat> Basically it's had its life. But I fix it and it only stays on high. Whatever. Report. We're going to live with what we got. So. The L Cosmetics things. Yeah. I got mad at them. And now that I understand. It was a technical difficulty. I'm not mad about technical difficulties. They happen. My only thing about that is, yes, it's super warm. If you are allowed to, you know, you can check out any time, but you can't never leave. You can check out, you can buy something from the Elf Cosmetic website 24-7. However, they only have customer service Monday to Friday, like 9.30 to 5.30 or something like that. So if you buy any other time of the day, uh, it, something happens like it did this time, too bad, so sad. So my thing on that is, please have at least a skeleton crew on the, you know, that's there so that if technical difficulties happen, people can be helped. I knew right away it didn't work and I do have to retract. The only thing I'm going to retract is that they're not stealing my money, but this is how banking works. When you have a Visa debit card, they have to legally hold your money for six business days and I don't have an actual credit card, which is a good thing. I don't want one anyway. Because this way, I can't spend money that I don't have. However, that money was not supposed to come out of my account. I was supposed to have a gift card. And I couldn't get an answer until Monday that there was a technical difficulty. So, that was not cool. Other than that, some of the nice things I'm going to show here are from Elf. So all the people out there that go, Oh, but this is about mental health and why are you talking about makeup? Well, if you don't like makeup, then just stop watching. Don't. Go there, don't watch, that's it. For everybody else, it is a super important thing. When you don't feel good in your head, when everything's all messed up, or you don't have to be on the mental illness scale. Sometimes, you know, life happens. You have a fight with someone, you know, you're not getting along or whatever. You're just not in a good mood. Sometimes you kinda gotta put a pretty face on because that's, you know, what your job is and if you don't put a pretty face on, you could lose your job. Well. Makeup helps with that, you know, fake it till you make it kind of a thing. And for me, it's like a therapy thing. I enjoy doing it. I have fun. Sometimes I do my whole face look and I don't even go anywhere. <laughs> Usually I don't go anywhere at all. So we're going to go into that because I do have some dupes. Mostly from Elf, not all of them. And then I have a few other things that I have bought that I'd like to share with all of you at a lower price because we're all about saving money. This is about trying to help you save money. It's not about makeup. It's about buying things that at less money but the same quality, the same thing, different ideas. I figured them out. Why not share them with you? I'm not the only person that doesn't have like a bazillion dollars. So. And I do apologize the lighting's all over because well I don't have any lights in my apartment because the light bulb is burnt out and again I have no money in my bank account because it's all being held up. So yes, this morning I was super happy when I realized that I bought my favorite items back up when they were on sale because I ran out of a bunch of things or I'm like on the cusp of running out of them and by grace of, you know, this is how I manage the fact that I have a fixed income. and. I also have a little bit more income because of my part-time job that I have to have, but I also love, so we're not going to yell about that. Um, I have to apologize for the fact that I'm a little bit lost. Okay, I do have a concussion. I hit my head. I don't know when. I don't know how. I don't remember. I know that sounds weird to a lot of you. But everybody else that knows that, you know, there's been a hospital that's been telling me for the past three years that everything that happens never really happens and I'm making everything up. That in probably conjunction of the fact that this weekend, um, 
because work was nice enough to change my schedule because I was just too exhausted. That's why a lot of these things already have videos for them. I just haven't done them. I don't have time. I'm too tired. So work was nice enough to change my shift. So now I have days off. And on those days off, I don't take my ADHD meds because they're amphetamines and I don't want to be addicted. So all of that together makes the fact that I don't remember how I hit my head. I remember the pain, so I know it was for me lifting my head up. It could have been from under my desk when I was doing my nails, which, by the way, are all from stuff from Wish and AliExpress. Don't pay a bazillion dollars and wait for two months in the mail. Or it could have been me hitting my head on, like, the freezer door. I don't know. Did I pass out? I have no idea. I live alone. Nobody knows. So that's a little bit scary, but I'm okay. Well, we're going to move on. I guess my head hurts a bit. So <clears throat> this morning, again, I realized that I have some things and I want to share them because they're cool. But the first thing I'm going to go with is this little speaker that I bought for $7 at Princess Auto because I wanted, you know, for my music to play louder from my phone when I'm in my room. And I realized this morning it's waterproof because I dropped it in the bathtub. And it still works. It's it's waterproof. So that's just my plus thing. It was six bucks and it's waterproof. I mean, go for it. Can't be wrong with that. My other tip for bath time is Epsom salts. I like like the eucalyptus ones. So I had those pucks that I found you know before Christmas, and they have eucalyptus. And I mean, I was cheap, so I cut them up in pieces, and then they ran out. And then I realized this is way cheaper. So this particular bag, this brand, you can see it. It's five dollars for two kilograms, which is five point five pounds or something. I don't know. Don't ask me to do math right now. Um, but it's five dollars for this big bag. And all I do is once the shower is on, I just throw like a handful in the bottom of the shower, and then they melt, and then it still smells like eucalyptus in my shower, which is nice and relaxing. So you know, way cheaper. Great idea. The other thing, I've mentioned this before, makeup cleaning wipes for $1.25 from the Dollarama, they're bad. I have nothing bad to say about them. They work perfectly fine and they're $1.25. How can you go wrong with that? This brand, Lipidol, I don't think you can buy it anymore because it was going out of sale, which is a bummer because it's made by the same people who make bio oil. This is kind of like their generic brand. This is after shower oil, you know, like you're already wet, trap the moisture into your skin. Great idea. This was one dollar. One dollar. These next things are all the things that I'm like either ran out today or I'm on the cusp of running out and I just happen to have extras because again, I had extra money so I invested in things I knew I was going to need eventually and that was a great idea because now I'm feeling like a genius so I have my hyaluronic acid included stuff for my face moisturizer that's what I'm looking for and my cellar water this one has tea tree oil in it which will probably help kill Mount Vesuvius up there on my face god that thing's annoying and I needed another face wash because I think you've all seen the video of the one that I tried to buy that had that stuff that I'm allergic to. So that one's cool. And then my beautiful Ren Pure. Now they're available at Walmart. They have just a new branding or new packaging. My, my brain and my words don't work. But guess what? You're going to see me this way because this is how I am. And we're not sugarcoating things because, well, why do we have to pretend we're all perfect? I'm not perfect. We all know that. And I don't want people out there to think that they have to be perfect. You can be perfectly imperfect and people will love you anyway. All right. So this is the same thing I always use. It's the coconut water mist leave-in treatment. Um, today my hair is pretty straight. And that's not.